My Safety Training Online presents Personal Protective Equipment. Welcome. What you will learn. Introduction to Personal Protective Equipment. We'll talk about alternatives to Personal Protective Equipment. Examples of PPE. Establishing a Personal Protective Equipment program. Injuries that occur without personal protective equipment, and the classes of hard hats. Let's get started. Introduction to personal protective equipment. Employers must protect employees from workplace hazards such as machines, hazardous substances, and dangerous work procedures that can cause injury. Employers must use all feasible engineering and work practice controls first to eliminate and reduce the hazards. Then, when appropriate personal protective equipment is needed, in the event that those controls don't eliminate the hazards. Remember, PPE is the last level of control. The machine or work environment can be physically changed to prevent employee exposure to a potential hazard. Then, the hazard can be eliminated with an engineering control first and foremost. Initial design specifications. Substitute less harmful material. Change the process. Enclose the process. Isolate the process or provide ventilation are all examples of engineering controls versus personal protective equipment. What are some of the causes of head injuries? Falling objects, bumping your head against fixed objects such as exposed pipes or beams. Contact with exposed electrical conductors. Employees can be removed from the exposure to potential hazards by changing the way they do their job. Then the hazard can be eliminated with a work practice control. Use wet methods to suppress dust, personal hygiene, housekeeping and maintenance, job rotation. Personal protective equipment examples, part two. Examples of purse protective equipment. Well, for the eye would be safety glasses and goggles. Face would be face shields. Head would be hard hats. The feet, safety shoes. Hand and arms uh, for gloves. And bodies with vests, hearing, earplugs, and earmuffs. Made with metal or plastic safety frames, safety glasses at most operations require side shields. Used for moderate impact from particles produced by su from such jobs as carpentry, woodworking, grinding, and scaling. Protect your eyes, eye sockets, and facial area immediately surrounding the eyes from impact, dust, and splashes. Some goggles fit over corrective lenses. Widespread industrial uses as well as laboratories. Protect your eyes from burns caused by infrared or intense light, radiant light. And protect face and eyes. Sparks, metal splatter, slag chips produced during welding, brazing, soldering, and cutting. Laser safety goggles protect your eyes from intense concentration of light produced by lasers. Face shields protect the face from nu nuisance dust and potential splashes or sprays of hazardous liquids. What are some of the causes of head injuries? Falling objects, bumping head against fixed objects such as exposed pipes or beams, 
or contact with exposed electrical conductors. Types of hard hats. Class A, general service, used in mining, building construction, shipbuilding, lumbering, and manufacturing. Good impact protection, but limited voltage protection. Class B, electrical work protected from falling objects and high voltage shock and burns. They're used in the utilities industries and anywhere there are high voltage existing. Class C, designed for comfort, offering limited protection. Protects your head against bumping from against fixed objects, but does not protect against objects or electrical shock. Types of PPE hearing protection. Earmuffs, earplugs, and canal caps. What are some of the causes of foot injuries? Heavy objects such as barrels or tools that might roll onto or fall on an employee's feet. Sharp objects such as nails or spikes that might pierce soles or uppers of ordinary shoes. Molten metal that might splash on the feet. Hot or wet surfaces, slippery surfaces are causes of foot injuries. Foot protection has high impact, imp impact resistant toes and heat resistant seals that protect against hot surfaces common on roofing, paving, and hot metal industries. Some have metal insoles to protect against puncture wounds. Foot protection may be designed to be electrically conductive for use in explosive atmospheres or non-conductive to protect from workplace electrical hazards. Metatarsical protection is part of the shoes or strapped to the outside of the shoes to protect the instep from impact and compression. What are some of the hand injuries you need to guard against? Burns, bruises, abrasions, cuts, Punctures, fractions, amputations, and chemical exposures. Hand protection for personal protective equipment. Norfoil laminates resist permission and permutation and breakthrough by an array of toxic hazardous chemicals. Butyl provides the highest permeation resistance to gas and water vapors and is frequently used for ketones such as methyl ethyl ketone and esters such as amyl acetate and ethyl acetate. The nature of the hazards and the operation to be performed will be determined your selection of gloves and work posts. The variety of potential hand injuries makes selecting appropriate pairs of gloves more difficult than choosing prote protective equipment. Take care to choose gloves designed for the particular circumstances of your workplace. Viton is a highly resistant to permeation by chlorated and aromic solvents. Nitrile provides protection against a wide variety of solvents, harsh chemicals, fats, and petroleum products, and also provides excellent resistance to cuts, snags, punctures, Kevlar protects against cuts, slashes, and abrasions. Stainless steel meshes protect against cuts and lacerations. What are some of the causes of body injuries? Intense heat, splashes of hot metal, and other hot liquids, impacts from tools, machinery, and materials, as well as cuts, hazardous chemicals, contact with potentially infectious materials like blood.
Protective equipment comes with a variety of materials, each suited for particular hazards. If there's a possibility of body injury still exists, provide protective equipment constructed of material to protect against specific hazards. Install feasible engineering controls and institute work practice controls to eliminate the hazards. Different materials will protect against different chemical and physical hazards. Conduct your hazard assessment and identify potential sources of bodily injury. Part 4 Establishing a Personal Protective Equipment Training Program Establishing a program. Set out procedures for selecting, providing, and using personal protective equipment as part of the employee's routine operation. First, assess the workplace to determine if hazards are present and if likely to be present, which necessitate the use of personal protective equipment. Next, determine if those hazards can be administered, controlled, or engineered. Once the proper personal protection equipment has been selected, the employer must provide training to each employee who is required to use the personal protection equipment. If their job specifications change, it affects the employees, they must be retrained. If the personal protection equipment changes, then the employee must be retrained. Employees required to use personal protection equipment must be trained at least knowing the following when the personal protective equipment is necessary, what type is necessary, how to properly put it on, take it off, adjust it, and wear it, what the limitations of the personal protective equipment are, as well as proper care, maintenance, useful life, and disposal of the PPE. Each employee employer must assess the workplace of hazards Use engineering and work practice controls first to eliminate and reduce hazards before going to personal protective equipment. Select the appropriate personal protective equipment from the hazards that cannot be eliminated and inform employees why personal protective equipment is necessary and when it must be worn. <laughs>